Alrighty, looking at another torso here, we'll start at the face. This is your temporalis muscle, muscle mastication. Here's your masseter. Parotid gland, parotid duct, zygomaticus major, zygomaticus minor, rhizorus, orbicularis oris, orbicularis oculi, corrugator supercilii, mentalis, sternocleidomastoid here. On the face, we have some vessels, too, that we didn't see on our other guy. This is facial artery and vein. They're coming off of external carotid, and you can see they're going all the way up here to the nose. This is temporal artery and vein. This one right here, sitting on top of sternocleidomastoid, is your left external jugular vein. And on this guy, you can even see a cut piece of the platysma muscle covering that external jugular vein. Okay, we'll look at his neck a little bit. He's got a nice thyroid gland here in pink. You can see the trachea, thyroid cartilage, hyoid bone. Here's your omohyoid muscle. You can see a little bit of it over here. <sighs> Sternohyoid, sternothyroid. Not sure. This is probably cricothyroid muscle here, but it's kind of confusing. Here you can see right internal or right common carotid artery, right internal jugular vein coming down here. This would be your right subclavian vein, right internal jugular vein, right brachiocephalic vein, superior vena cava. You can see your brachiocephalic trunk off of your aortic arch. And then here's your subclavi right subclavian artery and right common carotid artery. Here's left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery, aortic arch. Here's your deltoid muscle, cephalic vein. Here's your left internal jugular vein, left subclavian vein, left brachiocephalic vein. Okay, looking in the mediastinum here, you can see where your trachea has branched into right primary bronchus and left primary bronchus. You can see your descending aorta. You can see your esophagus. That purple on the esophagus here is your esophageal nerve plexus. You can see pulmonary arteries in blue, pulmonary veins in red. This is your secondary bronchus, tertiary bronchus. This right here is your caval hiatus. Esophagus in green inside your esophageal hiatus. Here's your diaphragm here. Back here on the back posterior body wall, you can see inner posterior intercostal artery vein and nerve. You can see part of the sympathetic trunk in purple. Notice those posterior uh, intercostal arteries coming right off of descending aorta. This blue structure here is your hemiazygous vein and your accessory hemiazygous vein. This is your crossover where blood is going to the right side of the body to dump into azygous. So below that would be hemiazygous. Above that would be accessory hemiazygous. We can also see our vagus nerve on the left side here coming down with your left common carotid artery. It'd be coming from the neck, running with your common carotid and your internal jugular. And here you can see it come down on the aortic arch, give off a branch that goes underneath the aortic arch, and then continue down and form that esophageal nerve plexus. So this is left vagus nerve. This one that curves under is left recurrent laryngeal nerve. I think that's pretty much it for this guy.